Welcome Aries, this is your May predictions. Hope everybody is doing well. We do have the spirit of rings coming in, which is exciting because that's like a seed being planted. Endurance, uh, something has the potential to grow and be solid. Uh, let's see what else we can get here. So there's a new beginning here. We do have the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're very focused, very, very focused, persistent. Okay, I like this a lot. You could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Either way, it feels like there's an opportunity here. Now, we do have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups in the reverse can be like somebody walking away and regretting it, feeling stuck feeling avoidant, not living your truth, uh, or somebody not living their truth. Let's see what this is about, because um, we're gonna have to get a little deeper and then we'll clarify. All right, you are protecting yourself from something. This is you really standing your ground here with that Seven of Wands energy. Um, okay, and then we do have the Two of Swords. Someone is feeling stagnant, There's not, something's not moving, there's no communication on this person's end. There could be a lot of spying though, but communication and honesty is the challenge. It's a challenge to be honest. There's a need to be honest and communicate on what somebody, like what, what's on their mind. Um, there may be something that needs to be addressed or to clear up here with that page of cups. I'm sorry, page of swords. We do have the six of swords in the past and then here's this ace of pentacles in this person's mind. This star, six of wands. Ooh, this person may be seeing you starting a new beginning or watching you on social media or seeing something of success or accomplishments, getting recognition about, uh, okay, we have that queen of cups once again and the 10 of pentacles. Hmm, somebody feels like they are spying for sure, trying to gain more information on you. Let's clarify. What is the Seven of Wands in your energy? Ten of Pentacles. The Death and Rebirth. Okay. No one's putting the effort in. Something in the past, though, it seems like you moved away from. There's definitely a disharmony within the connection, drama, chaos that has occurred. Feels like this really, you know, was a, was a, like, a lot of cloudy days trying to reignite the, the light within again. Seeing clearly now about something where you're protecting yourself. This person's very, okay, this is kind of weird. They're not saying anything. They're just wanting more information on you and it seems like they're isolated, withdrawn, and in their room. <laughs> Looking online or something. Trying to find out what's going on. Ooh, we have the emperor. Huh, this person is just, they, you probably had a tower with this person. I feel like they see you moving on. Or they just see you like moving up, glowing up. The tower though is in the reverse. It's showing that somebody here is very resistant to change. Very comfort, like a lot of confrontation or confrontational. There's, there's arguments, there's chaos there's drama surrounding this person something you came out of i feel like they still want information on you they're still searching for something that's too many cards yeah it's a past person 
is kind of like giving me the creeps a little bit. Like somebody just spying. I have spirituality, teacher. Hmm. Somebody's triggered. And then we do have this message at the Page of Wands. Someone's becoming very impatient. The Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is coming out twice in the reading. You know what I'm getting here? Give me a minute. It feels like somebody regrets walking away and they see you just thriving, but they're literally isolated and alone and they're not really a good um, team player. Like they don't collaborate. They don't listen. They don't like come together. Like there's something about this person that's very one-sided. So it's like they can't even communicate or bring something to balance or like come to a compromise or anything like that. It's showing like very, like they rather just spy and, and watch you and it's just weird. And it's showing like they're triggered by a memory of you. They're triggered, they're like very stuck in the past with that six of cups. And the six of cups energy is like, they're thinking about you. And they want your attention. But this is like, they feel like they're going to, it feels like it's hard to come towards you because their fear of rejection. But the queen of pentacles is coming in. This is grounding energy, self-made, very accomplished Queen of Pentacles. This could be, I got, we saw the Empress. I'm like, huh, is this like the, the like the parent of your kids? Maybe, or, because it just feels very, like they're hiding. They're not really coming out. They're hiding, they're watching, they're thinking, but they're also resisting a lot of change. Um, they're not learning from their past mistakes. And they just see you here sitting pretty hmm, with that pinnacle, which you deserve that pinnacle. And then we have this Queen of Cups energy. So maybe this is like, it could be somebody you're with, or this could be somebody that still has very strong emotions for you. And there's a choice here with the lover. So should I stay or should I go type of energy. So this makes me think that somebody from the past is coming back. But it is showing in the outcome there's not much change within this person. If you do start talking to them, you're still going to you're kind of feel that something feels too familiar. Yeah, this person feels unclear on where you stand. Excuse me. So we have confusion. Missed opportunity. They didn't act when they should have. Deep inside, they want to mend this connection. They want to fix it. Where's the change? It feels like they're very isolated, you guys. Very isolated, feeling very lonely. I feel very personal. <laughs> it's very odd readings coming in lately, but I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. So this person definitely wants to communicate. I love you. These are the untold messages. A fantasy. This 
person fantasizes about you. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I'm overthinking everything. What will everyone else think? I wish I could. I know I've acted childishly. I don't know how to approach you now. So they will just watch you. Okay. Oh, new beginnings. Yeah, I feel like you have already kind of already like moved past this person, to be honest. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality about you think dream, what you think, dream, and imagine. New beginnings, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So yeah, it's like I don't feel like you really are in like I feel like it's like somebody you had a history with and they still think about you till this day. You may have kids with this person. They have been married to this person or I don't know. It just seems like somebody just feels very confused. They don't know like how to contact you. They feel ashamed. They feel all these things and all they could do is fantasize and kind of like see what you're doing. Interesting. Let's see what this new, new beginning is bringing. Ooh, chemistry. Okay, so we have, there is a strong man magnetic attraction here. So down this new beginning, there's chemistry coming in, somebody coming in that you may feel very attracted to. But as for right now, you guys, this is what I'm seeing. So I hope this message helped and brought clarity to you. And I'm going to leave this here and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.